everyone! I'm here with another update to my Project 20 uses this time. Um, this is update number one, and I have all 10 of my products right here that I tried to use 20 times. And I hit goal on 5 of the 10 items, so I'll be rolling in 5 new things. Um, by the way, I did dye my hair auburn, so it looks a little different. Um, but it still works with like the eyeshadow looks I'm using, especially the ones in my Panda's eyeshadows. But anyways, let's get started. So the first product in here was my e.l.f. concealer. This is what it looked like right there in the shade Light. This was a nice concealer. I use this over 20 times for sure. Because the cap is broken and I hate broken ca I hate these plastic caps because they always crack. Um, let's see. There it is right there. See, I see I used a little bit. I would love to put this in a project to finish up. Especially for winter because it's just a really good shade match right now. So I might do that in the next month or two hopefully. And that will probably take, you know, a few months to finish up but... I'm fine with that. See, that's the cap splitting right there. Okay, anyways, I hit my goal on this. So next product was my LA Colors powder, um, face powder. Here's my line from last time. Um, this is hard to do. But as you can see, I haven't used much more. I used this one over 20 times as well, probably, because I used it, like, every day to set my face. Like I said, this has a ton of product in it, so it takes a long time. Um, but I would like to use this as well, because it's a huge component, and it takes up a lot of room. Um, but I do have a powder in another project that I, I'm, my goal is to use up. So this is going to have to wait probably a few months at least. Okay, but I did use it up, so next, or I did use my 20 use goal. Next product is my Maybelline Brow Precise in Blonde. I use this one over 20 times as well. Um, and this one's just fine. It It's actually a little darker than blonde to me. It's one of those fiber ones, so it gives you little like hair-like things. It's fine. Um, it seems to still be going, but running out. I would love to finish this one as well. Um, okay, so I hit my use on that. The next product is my Mademoiselle in Bloom perfume that I put in here. I have down that I only used it eight times. Um, I just went ahead, all four of the sides have these mirrors on them. I went ahead and uh, peeled the one on the back off, so that's where I'm at. Um, I have to hold this at an angle, but that is where it's at <laughs> when it's sitting straight. Um, I have used quite a bit, if you can see that line from the intro to there, first update. And I used this eight times. I will say when I use this, I have to spray it like a body spray, like 20 you know, 15, 20 sprays like crazy because it's super light um, and it probably doesn't last more than an hour on your skin. So not very good longevity, but it's just a nice um, floral Mademoiselle in Bloom. So it's a floral fresh scent. It's really nice and I could definitely use it after the shower or something or as a nighttime scent because it's just very clean. But I use that eight times, so I still have 12 to go. Um, and I would like to use that one up because once again, the cap is broken. It just falls right off. So, okay. Next one is, okay, the Cookie Monster Lip Scrub. I used this 14 times. There's already marked it. Here's my progress mark right there. So I used it quite a bit more than I thought I would, but it still has so much product left in it. Um, this is the one that's, it smells like caramel. It's just smell like cookies. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Sesame Street collection, but I have used it quite a bit, 14 times. So, you know, I have a few more uses to go, um, but this is going to take a while to finish, actually. 
But I would love to finish this as well because it also has one of these plastic caps that is cracking currently. <laughs> okay, from the same collection, um, yeah, I use that 14 times. From the same collection with the same amount of uses 14 times is this Wet n Wild Sesame Street lip mask um, and save the day. This one smells like blue raspberry. Here's my progress mark on it. Um, somewhat of the same. This one's a very, very thick... Oh, I've, I've forgotten to swatch, but I don't think there's anything I need to swatch besides this. It, see, it looks clear, but like when I put on my lips, it they do have a blue tint, both of them. Which, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. Um, let's see if it'll show up. I don't think it's going to show up. Oh, can you see it? The tiniest bit right here. Anyways, this one's a very, like, thick formula, so this is going to take a long time. Once again, it's cracking this right here, which I hate because that means it's going to dry out really quick. And these were brand new last month. So, anyways, I'm just going to take forever to use. Okay, let me swatch this concealer for you. There it is. Really good shade for me right now. Um, okay. Is there anything else I need to just watch? Okay, no, there's not. Um, okay. Next product was from my Too Faced Just Peachy Mads palette. I was using this shade 20 times and I did hit my goal and used it 20 times exactly. It is just a you know, um, cream colored setting shade for me. I do usually set my eyeshadow base. Um, but as you know, Too Faced shades are really, really hard to hit pan in. Um, there it is right in the middle. They're really, really hard to hit pan in. They're super tightly packed. So 20 uses and there is a dip, but I tried to swirl my brush around like the whole, um, but this has 20 uses, so it's rolling out. I have another one um, already in my A to Z project pan, too. That's the same exact color, different Too Faced palette, actually, um, to use to set my lid. Okay, um, let's see. And the next one is my ColourPop lipstick in the shade Uno Moss. There it is right there. Here's my lines, as you can tell. I used it um, eight times as well. That's all the progress I made. You know, lipsticks take forever to pan, but I did use this one quite a bit before it was in the project. It's just a light pinky nude, like peachy nude actually, I would say. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Um, you know, I can use this pretty much with anything. It's a nice little pale peach nude shade. So I'm happy to have that in the project. I'm surprised that's all the progress I got for eight uses. <laughs> but I'll be, I'll use that 12 more times. Um, okay. And then another lip product is my Maybelline Baby Lips and Berry Balm. I was using this on my nightstand as my chapstick for 20 uses, probably used it more than 20 times. This also leaves a little purple cast on your lips, which isn't as bad as the blue, but you know, just wearing it to bed, it doesn't matter. Um, let's see, oh, I forgot to mark this one. Let's see, oh, I did mark it, I was just on the wrong side. <laughs> like I said, these take forever to use. Like, I use that over 20 times and look at the progress. That's crazy. These take forever. I have panned one and it took months and months and months and months of using it several times a day. These take forever. Okay, anyways, but met my 20 use goal. So the last, the 10th product I was working on from the intro is this Ulta Black Eyeliner, Glitter Eyeliner. Um, I did have to resharpen this one like twice and for some reason the cap on this one it's not broken, it just like doesn't fit it well and it always goes down and smushes the top no matter how flat or sharp it is. 
Anyways, um, let's see. I did use this one. I don't think there was much progress. I think I used it seven times in total because I have a gray and a dark green that look pretty much like a black eyeliner that I've been using more. Um, but here it is right here. There is my mark. <laughs> it's so hard to hold it up like this. Okay. Anyways, that's how much progress I made. Not a ton, but I haven't hit my goal yet, so there'll be a little more progress hopefully next month. Um, let's see. I, yep, seven times. So I've still got a ways to go on that one. Um, which is fine. It's just a black eyeliner, which is pretty easy for me. Okay, now for the stuff I'm rolling in, I get to roll in five new things to use 20 times. Um, let's see what I have here. I guess I can swatch that eyeliner for you. There it is right there. You can't really see the glitter in it. It doesn't really translate, but it is really good for the waterline. Okay. <clears throat> All right. For the first one I want to use 20 times is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is a deluxe sample. It's 0.4 fluid ounces. Most primers have one fluid ounce, so it's almost half. Um, this is great. This is one of the pore filling primers. So, uh, you know, makes your skin look like a little bit more less poreless, like more smooth. Um, it's fine. I've used these before in the past. Um, and so I'll use this 20 times. You can't see through the packaging, so I can't mark it in any way. Um, next product is a foundation. This is a Rimmel um, foundation, which you can see I've marked because that is where the line is. You can see through it pretty well. This is a very liquidy foundation. I love this foundation. Look at the doe foot applicator. Makes it so easy. Let's see. Swatch it for you. There's it right there. It's a little bit of a lighter foundation than what I've been using, but it'll work very soon because it's getting colder. <laughs> um, okay, next one is another eyebrow product. And I don't know where it went. This is big. Purple. Here it is. I just used it, so um, just to see if I liked it. Okay, this is Florence by Mills Eyebrow Pencil. Oh, I'm sorry. Tint and Tame Brow Gel. That is what the tiny, tiny little wand looks like. This is so weird. I just used it. And it is like gold shimmer as the color. So strange. It's The, the shade is called Honey. And I know I bought this because it was on clearance at TJ Maxx. Because I, I didn't use to use eyebrow products. There it is right there. So it's fine. Um, you can't really see. It's like glittery. It's so strange. But it looks fine. It's in my eyebrows right now. Um, okay. Next one is another Too Faced eyeshadow palette. I had to put this in because pumpkin spice and it's fall. Um, and I needed like a darker transition shade. This is brand new by the way. I got this like a week ago. Pumpkin Pie Second Slice. Um, it still has a little plastic thing in it, but let's see. I chose that I'm going to try to use the shade Serving Looks right here in the middle. This is, this whole palette is brand new. So I'll take an up close picture, um, of that. I just watched it, but there it is for my updates next time. Um, this is it right here. Nice reddish brown shade. Nice reddish brown shade. And these do blend super, super easy. Yes, this palette smells like pumpkin spice, as it says. And I will probably get use out of other shades in this. This is so nice for fall. And I'm just using it 20 times, of course. Okay, and last product I'm putting in is it also fell on the floor <laughs> this is the elf lipstick seriously satin lipstick 
I already marked it. And this is in the shade Nectar. I used to use this all the time last fall because this is like the perfect orangey brown. It looks pink in here and peachy in here. But um, it's the perfect orangey brown. A little bit of a deeper nude shade um, for me, which I like during the fall. That is it right there. It matches that eyeshadow so nicely. Um, so I'm super excited to get more use on this. Because like I said, I've got quite a bit of use of it last year. When I didn't do projects. But there we go. My line's a little off, but that's okay. So I want to use all of those products 20 times. And hopefully I'll come on with another update that's just as good. Thanks for watching. Bye.